today guys today we are in Bronzoil about four kilometers from the city center uh, but it's still in Copenhagen today we're searching for a Filipino bakery and you know what I think we just arrived welcome to Sweet Bites Sweet Bites is located at Fredericksson Y230 if you're coming from the city center take the 5c bus and ride it all the way to Vixel Y stop Upon entering, you will be greeted by a whole lot of Filipino favorites from different bread like pantasal, mamon, and ensaymada. They also sell mochi and different cakes. Our favorite is the ube leche flan. This one. They also have shopao and a whole lot of kakanin or rice cakes. I suggest to follow them on Facebook since the owner usually posts a video of what's on sale for the day. Make sure to grab some drinks as well as they offer milk tea and halo halo among other things. We're now here at a park 20 steps away from Sweet Bites and I think I need to try some of the food right away before it gets cold. Uh, you can see there's sunshine here. I'm wearing a hoodie but I'm regretting every moment. It's pretty cold. But anyway, let's start. First, I got some ube pandesal and pandan. Buko pandan pandesal. Uh, this is also one of the trendy things um, we've had this past Corona year. I've tried the buho, uh, the ube pandesal already, and before I'll try this buho pandesal. I would have bought more but the person that was in front of me or got three dozen of them, I don't know. They ran out of fees. Uh, I'll leave that for now. And then this is something I've been thinking about. It's called Chopao. Pretty big. Uh, this one has um, asado pork inside. I tried to ask if they had a bola bola version because I'm not that into uh, pork. But uh, they do have. let's try this. So this one, you actually get the filling right away. Usually if you buy it in 7-Eleven or some other uh, stores, like Naiya Terminal 1, they sell this, they sold this for 70 pesos the first time I left the Philippines. And the filling was from this big. And you had to take four or five bites before you could taste it. Yeah, but this one, it's pretty generous with the filling. I can feel it over here as well. Um, the dough is pretty good. This is the one I needed to eat right away because it's different even if you eat it at home because the dough 
might get some yeah, I bought four so I have three home three for there's a bunch of ducks over here They're like really big ones scary what if they run after me and get my shop up I think this is pretty good for 25 kroner I'm at the end now and they're still filling so good job sweet bites My mom said because we have a bakery at home, so she's she knows her brand. Shopao is one of the hardest things to sell because it's so easy to to fuck up the dough. So kudos to you, sweet bites. Your shopao is good. And then last but not the least. Definitely not the least. We have the Halo Hal. So the last time I had Halo Halo was I think in the Filipino festival here two, two three years ago. So it's a pretty big one for 25 I think this was and there's like the usual um, gulaman different colors beans I think and uh, banana of course it's special so there is ube ice cream and leche flan let's try since it's called halo halo for my non filipino friends halo halo means mix mix so before you eat it you mix it it's seven degrees right now and I'm having ice <laughs> masochista mm. other halo halo here in Denmark it's not so sweet and they didn't skip out on the ingredients will I order again from sweet bites yes I will order again from sweet bites but maybe I'll ask for a delivery uh, <laughs> because it, this place is about an hour from my home and I don't really want to commute or take my bike going here because I won't be able to carry cakes now I didn't get any cakes because the cake that I wanted was the ube leche flan cake and the first thing in front of the third one the last one I can guarantee you that the best cake, the leche flan bit especially, it's so good. It's like the super thick leche flan. Work out. This is, I'm gonna finish my halo halo, buy some KFC for the wife, and then go home. Uh, this is probably gonna be posted after Easter, but happy Easter for 2022 in advance all right hopefully there's no more covid at that time see you